Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder and we are taking to the skies once again flying the P-38E Lightning, the Forktail Devil and I'm sure it is not difficult to work out why it, the Axes gave it that nickname um, not only because of its appearance uh, which is rather unconventional but um, also because of how effective this vehicle was it was a mighty good plane um, scoring an average of a 3 to 1 kill to loss ratio against uh, the Axes in Europe and an 11 or 10 to 1 kill to loss ratio against the Japanese in the Pacific so yeah this plane definitely made a name for itself in the positive way in the hands of the Americans and its fellow allies and we're flying it today on the course of map I believe uh, we have quite a short replay for you today um, just short, sweet, very snappy, very dynamic, at least once we get to the uh, combat that is. And, um, well, it's going to be very exciting, so strap yourselves in. Now, because this is air realistic, um, it will take some time for us to get to the combat. Fortunately, we are in a decently fast plane, very good at climbing as well. Um, and that gives us plenty of time to talk about a brief history of the aircraft, even though I kind of did that just now. Despite being a two-engine fighter aircraft, the Lightning was and is, in this game, uh, decently agile and uh, able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the majority of enemy aircraft, providing they are not Japanese. It is also very fast and packs a punch with its four, sorry, five nose-mounted guns and uh, was an extremely potent aircraft. However, in the European theatre, it was gradually phased out a lot earlier than in the Pacific with um, introductions of the P-51 Mustang, which could do pretty much everything the Lightning could do, but at half the cost. Yes, this thing cost twice as much as a P-51 Mustang, which is why it never saw too much service in Europe following uh, 1944 and 1945. However, it was not totally useless, and while tactics did hinder its success against the Germans, like I said, only 3 to 1 kill to loss ratio rather than 10 to 1 in the Pacific, uh, it was still very effective nonetheless. In fact, fun fact, the F-5 Lightning, the photo reconnaissance aircraft version, uh, high-speed photographic research aircraft, uh, was very successful, in fact, so successful that it provided uh, about 90% of all aerial photographs of the beaches of Normandy prior to and after the invasion. So there you go, that's a fun fact. And just in time, because now the enemy has started to arrive. Now, there's quite a full match here, there's a lot of aircraft in this game. Uh, ever since they recent, well, fairly recently, increased the total that you could get in air realistic battle. So that's good. Plenty of kills for us. The Lightning carries a decent amount of ammunition. You've got 450 caliber machine guns and a 20 millimeter cannon to play with, and those will definitely come in handy. My preferred loadouts are ground targets for the 50s and air targets for the 20. Just in case you were wondering. Yes, it seems I have a cold again, um, just in case you were wondering why I sound the way I do. But we're not going to let that stop us. We had good game, and good game must be shown to the world, um, so our small number of subscribers can enjoy that. But it is growing. We are finally getting some subscribers uh, increased in the last couple days. Uh, we are close to 500 whole subscribers, I know. It only took me almost a year. But hey, um, slow but steady. We'll get there eventually. Alright, who will be our first victim? Will it be this, uh, the Sakin ahead of us, down there? Which is an Israeli modification of the BF-109. Although, ironically, same modification. It's not as she as powerful as the normal BF-109. Well, especially following that, I think he might have needed that part. But, oh well. Um, 
while the early Lightnings did have trouble in a high speed dive because they lacked an air brake and lacked stability, uh, we shouldn't have too much problem. We're going to control our speed. Um, we're not just going to do a direct dive, and by keeping our speed roughly around 400 miles an hour, we should be all good. And we're going to start with that Spitfire by the looks of it. Short, powerful, hard hitting bursts of firepower there. Now there's a Sakine again coming in. There you go, getting some good hits. Kill number three already. Uh, like I said, this will be a quick game. If you can see at the top there, the replay length is extremely short. So somehow these aircraft are going to all have to die in that time period. Oh, that was close, but we do actually come off better in that uh, head-on engagement. Can we perhaps go after this other Spitfire, maybe? Oh, no, he's on fire. I think we'd best leave him be. This I-16, however, that's more enticing. Oh, no, we are going to go for the Spitfire. The poor fella. Don't worry, there wasn't a kill steal. Looks like the Typhoon we set on fire earlier has crashed, giving us four kills. And now we're in a real mess of a dogfight. Look at this thing go. Uh, this isn't an ideal turn fighter due to its size but it is decently uh, effective at it it's not for its size it's not a slow turning aircraft which is rather handy and all of a sudden the enemy's team has melted and there's just one left uh, right in front of me a BF-110 another twin engine fighter but that is a lot more sluggish than the, the lightning is oh who's gonna get him who's gonna get him we get each other what a climactic result to the end of this game. Um, yes, I don't think we're going to... Who is shooting me? I don't think we're going to come out of that one, unfortunately. But that was the game. Looks like that Corsair behind us got a bit trigger happy. It was uh, hellbent on shutting us down for some reason. But, like I said, it would be a quick game. And that is all. Five kills in a very short amount of time and an assist in the mighty P-38 Lightning. This is only one of the Lightnings. There are four in the American Tech Tree and two, sorry, three premiums plus one removed. So four premium Lightnings, four Tech Tree Lightnings. You can never get too much of this thing. Uh, fun fact, uh, although you can't really see it, you kind of can. Uh, Richard Bong here, his P-38 Lightning made him the top scoring American Ace of World War Two. So there you go. If that doesn't tell you enough about the Lightning, then I don't know what does. But there you have it. That was the P-38E Lightning. If you liked this video, hit that like button. Comment down below uh, any thoughts you may have. And subscribe for more epic content. And I will catch you in the next War Thunder video.